What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I have a quick update for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.1, 15.1.1 1 and so on, all the way down to iOS 14.6. This video is brought to you by KeyPass, a software created by Startsoft that allows you to unlock the screen pass code on your device if you forgot it, or to even bypass iCloud activation if you're stuck on this screen right here. Definitely check it out on their website Startsoft in here and you can get a free trial available for this. You can check out the program in the link below and it supports the activation screen, unable to activate, lost iPhone, and of course device stock in the passcode locked screen and so on. So definitely check it out in the link below. So Apple stopped signing iOS 15.1 for some devices. Now this only applies for the devices where 15.1.1 exists. For example, the iPhone 13. If you go ahead and here on my website on iOS signing status and you select your device, you can see exactly which devices have iOS 15.1.1 and which devices don't. For example, iPhone 12 does have 15.1.1 and thus 15.1 is no longer signed by Apple. However, if you go ahead in here and select for example iPhone 11 Pro, you can see that there is no such thing as 15.1.1, so iOS 15.1 is still signed for that device. Same happens for the iPhone XS, XS Max and so on. Now a lot of people ask me how this affects them in terms of jailbreaking if it's no longer signed. Well iOS 15.1 and iOS 15.1.1 share the same security content, which means that the vulnerabilities patched on 15.1 are basically the same as the ones patched in 15.1.1. In fact, iOS 15.1.1 has only one purpose and that is to fix a bug in calls dropping on those devices, hence why it was never released on the other devices, because those devices simply don't have that bug. So this vulnerability here by Brideap, which might get released or may not get released in the future, we don't know for now, which works on 15.1, would also work on 15.1.1, so you're not doomed. Now if you're waiting for a jailbreak like Uncover to be updated, the safe thing to do would be to save your blobs with Air Squared Blob Saver here. Now I recommended this before in my videos is the best advice I can give you. Save your blobs and stay as low as possible, but if you want a jailbreak and if you are already on 15.1, you are safe to update the 15.1.1, it wouldn't change anything. However, if you are running a version that is lower, for example 15.0.2 or lower like 14.7.1 or 14.8, definitely stay there, do not update the iOS 15. Now if you want to save your blobs in order to be able to upgrade or downgrade freely in the future, all you have to do is to get the blob saver available for both Windows and Mac OS, I think Linux too. Connect your device, read the ACID and the details here and of course select all signed versions and of course press go. That's all you need to do, it's as simple as that, takes a couple of seconds and you will be able to save your blobs with no problem. So as you can see in my case it's saved for 15.1 because for my device it's signed but if you have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13 it would save basically for 15.1.1 which is the same thing. In terms of jailbreaking it doesn't affect you if you are on 15.1 or 15.1.1, same thing. So if Uncover was to get updated for 15.1, it will work on 15.1.1 as well with the same exploit. And if we do get this exploit here by Brighty App, which would definitely be fantastic because it's exactly what we need, then we would be able to update Uncover in the near future. However, right now this exploit is zero days, so we don't know when it's going to get released. So yeah, that's basically it, very quick update, I want to talk about the 15.1.1 and of course 15.1 no longer being signed, not a major issue, if you are on 15.1 you can safely update the 15.1.1, however if you are on anything lower definitely stay but save your blobs with the blob saver. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.